Hello and welcome to another Shave Review video. Uh, sorry I haven't been able to get videos out to you guys on a regular basis here, uh, but uh, I plan on doing a more regular uh, routine here uh, starting uh, here soon, trying to get a video out every week. Um, but I'm sorry, just kind of life happened in the past month and uh, just still trying to catch up on a few things, but I'm, I think I'm about to the point of ready to get back in a regular routine. And I just realized a few minutes ago that uh, I started to record my video and uh, didn't push the record button. So we're going to try this again. Um, today we're going to be using Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements Astra Planeta. And this is a green tobacco scent. Um, tobacco meaning not a cigar humidor or smoke room, but merely a fresh tobacco, freshly picked tobacco scent. Um, and here's what the soap looks like. It's the CK6 formula. And uh, the scent on this is just a very nice, clean scent. It's not really musky or anything. Um, the green tobacco, that's a pretty good description. It's just a green, uh, very green tobacco. Um, so we're going to be using that today. Uh, for the pre-shave, which I've already used before I realized I wasn't recording. But I washed my face, I guess, is a good thing. We're going to be using the uh, mentholated cube. And for the aftershave... We're going to be using the matching splash. The brush today is going to be the Solar Flare 24 millimeter synthetic. Uh, nice butterscotch handle, man. This brush feels great. Does a fantastic job. All right, and for the razor, which I'm very happy with this uh, combination. Uh, the last time I shaved, I just wanted to try it. I've had a Rockwell 6S. For a while and I uh, wanted to try my favorite blade that I've been using here recently which is the Paul Silver Super Iridium. Um, I put that in with a plate number four and I think I struck gold. Uh, I found my blade and razor combination that works for me. Um, really enjoyed that shave. It was great. Uh, no nicks or cuts or anything. So I was very happy with that. So we're going to be using that today. So yeah, I don't think I forgot anything. So uh, since I've already used the cube, I think I'm just gonna use some uh, prickly pear star jelly um, for my pre-shave. And then we'll go ahead and get going with the lather. So, so I've already wet my face and I've washed my face with the cube. So we're gonna put on some of the star jelly here. Hope everyone's had a good week. So far, I know it's only been one day, but Today starts my vacation, week vacation that I get, and uh, me and my wife are going to be going down to Fort Walton Beach, Florida, on Thursday, coming back on Sunday, so it's just a little weekend getaway, but still, it'll, it's very much needed. We need to get away from life for a few days. Just go out on the beach and just relax. No major plans to go on the trip there, just a nice relaxing time. And I'll tell you, if my wife could live in water, she probably would. She loves the beach. Okay, put that star jelly back. Alrighty, and I'm sure, as you know, I always say this, but with synthetic brushes, you don't need to soak them. You can if you want, but you don't have to. Just take some warm water, soak the brush really good. Give it a few shakes. And then go ahead and start making your lather. I've been seeing lots of really good uh, videos on the shaving forums on Facebook. Um, Zach Berry is another fellow. He's hilarious. If you guys haven't watched him, give him a look. Um, there's a lot more guys coming forward on the live shaves, and I, I guess I need to be one of them. I haven't done a live shave on any of the uh, forums yet, but I'm very much willing to. Man. But, <laughs> nothing beats CK6, man. <laughs> I swear. I mean, just... Look at that. 
And look at that. I mean, there's still, <laughs> there's still stuff left. Man, well, I'm gonna use this here. And I'm gonna go ahead and clean out my soap. I know some of you guys uh, have your own different uh, routines, but I like to rinse my soap out after I make my lather and not just let it sit there and dry. Use hot water to get all the lather out and then I use cold water to put on top of that to kind of harden everything up, I guess, if it can. And then draw off my soap dish and I'll use my lid as kind of a spacer between the uh, the sink countertop and the, the uh, soap container. Place it on the edge of the lid and it has uh, air to dry. Okay, man, I'm excited about this. This looks great. All right, here we go. Go ahead and lap. Ooh, that's a lot of lather. You just cannot go wrong with Phoenix soaps. It's the perfect soap for a seasoned shaver, perfect soap for a beginner. Just an all around. Get a little bit of water on that brush. And I like to do kind of a figure eight little deal on my chin to get that water spread around. I'll go on one side and start lathering up pretty good here to get the lather a little bit more fluffy. Spread the love. Go to the other side. Spread the love. All right. All right, there we go. Rinse my razor here, get it wet. All right, here we go. And with the Rockwell, you can put a little bit of pressure down. But again, let the, let the uh, razor do most of the work. Well, so far so good. As usual, CK6 formula has great slickness and glide, uh, great uh, feel in general. Uh, just great soap, great scent as well. That tobacco, it's the I thought the tobacco was kind of odd at first, but it's growing on me. Really starting to enjoy it. All right, 
very good first pass and no nicks or cuts. So very happy about that. All right, go ahead and go for a second pass. some water. Figure eight. Wet the razor again, go for pass number two. Very good. Okay, here we go for this side. Good feedback, huh? <laughs> I know I can hear it. This is the only time I change hands when I'm shaving. I'll change to the left from a left cheek. Sorry I don't talk so much, that, that, but that's just me. Um, being a funeral director, <laughs> you kind of have to have a little have a little bit of banner with uh, the general public, you know. Um, some friendships are genuine, but most of it, uh, you know, it took a lot for me to get where I am now. Like I'll say hi to folks I don't even know now. Um, I used to be very shy. Uh, funeral directing kind of got me out of that box. Uh, but uh, I'm still, in general, a fairly quiet person. Um, can't really explain it. It's just me.
one of the most quirky parts of my face is my chin right here. The hair grows in like three different ways and I just kind of go in a circle making sure I got it all. And this side I go to angle. All right, <clears throat> we're gonna go with that. All righty, let's see. Wipe your face off here with some cold water. Whew. Oh man, that was a good shape. For these videos, I have my own special shirts that I wear that I know I can mess up here. <laughs> so, and I usually get some on my shirt, typically. All right. brush maintenance make sure you want dry your bristles out use a small towel dry the handle off if you take care of it <clears throat> it'll last a long time all right hang that up to dry all right after shave Good little handful. Mm. <sighs> Nothing beats a Phoenix aftershave. <laughs> you get that alcohol burn and then your face afterwards, God, it feels so freaking soft. Good stuff, good stuff. Well, all right. Well, that's all for today. Um, again, hopefully I'll be able to get out regular videos to you guys. Um, and we'll be hopefully coming back next week. So until then, have a great day and have a great shave.